YA book review for you of A Darker Shade of Magic, which is the first book in the, um, I think it's called the Shades of Magic trilogy. I'm actually not sure what the trilogy itself is called. So I heard lots of things about this book before I even started reading it, um, which this is going to be an interesting review because I haven't really had a review quite like this in a while. So it was pretty hyped up for me and I had really high expectations going in. Um, I already knew about Delilah and I knew that there were multiple Londons and things like that. So I started reading it and it was okay. The story didn't really grab me right away. Um, I really loved the world building of the different Londons. I really liked Kel and this book kind of goes um, third person omniscient kind of. So sometimes we get Kel's perspective and sometimes Lila's and a few other characters um, and periodically from like the antagonist side of things. So you know it was a, an okay story and I was finding it really easy to put down. So it was kind of taking me long to read it, but that all changed when I hit page 300. Prior to page 300, and that's just roughly around where it was, um, I really did not like Lila. And if you've watched other videos of mine, you know if I don't like the protagonist. Um, it's usually a female protagonist. Um, it's really hard for me to invest and get into the story. So Lila starts the story kind of, you know, she's a cross-dressing pirate. She had a rough life, and she's a thief and a murderer, if we're being honest. And she, you know, I did not find her likable. She was kind of selfish, a bit immature, um, and I just wasn't, I don't know, like I just did not connect with her at all, I guess. So eventually though, as the story develops, and I was hoping deep down that this maybe would make for a strong character arc, even I was just going for within the series, but it actually happened within the novel, um, things start to change. And she kind of becomes more confident and less, um, like she becomes more trustworthy, like not just to other characters in the book, but to the reader. She was untrustworthy to the reader and I didn't like that. Um, and you know, like her, her morals kind of shift a little bit. Um, and that's when I really started liking her and I liked Kel all along. Um, I really liked Rye because I feel like he provides, um, comic relief in some tense situations, but if I'm being honest, I feel like the majority of this book, so three-fourths of this book, is really um, setting up the plot and the world building, I think, for the other books. So this book was like teetering around three stars for me, but the last 100 pages were really good. And it really bumped it up, like, I gave it four stars on Goodreads, but I would say it's kind of like 3.8, because I mean, like, I don't want to give four stars when I spent 300 pages like able to walk away from the book and kind of indifferent to it. Um, it's, the writing is not bad, it was just totally a matter of um, I think connecting to one of the main characters for me. And like I said, you know, certain events happen and around there's a, a masquerade ball, I'd say around that scene, which is around 300, is when things really started to change for me. It does not end on a cliffhanger, but it did leave some things ambiguous because certain things happen and you're kind of like but did it really happen? And um, I think it really sets up for the next book, which I believe is A Gathering of Shadows. And I'm going to be starting that. So I'm, I'm pretty excited now. Um, I actually created a Kel candle um, in my shop, The Bookish Flame, which can be found on Etsy. And it's based off of Lila's description when um, something happens with Holland and she's thinking of Kel and how he smells of um, flowers and something grassy and something else, something clean. So it is floral, grass, and cotton, and you can check that out in my Etsy shop, or you can check it out on my Instagram, which I put um, my handle in the com or like in the caption of this video. So overall, I gave this like 3.8 stars um, for a darker shade of magic. In the meanwhile, happy reading and happy writing.